A new ETF is taking investors into the metaverse, the virtual online world that investors may remember hearing about when Roblox went public. Launched under the ticker META, the fund tracks the Ball Metaverse Index and includes companies like NVIDIA, Tencent and Roblox. Joining us now in a first on CNBC interview, Matthew Ball, managing partner at the Pillion and Company, uh, one of the creators behind the metaverse ETF and indeed uh, the list of things that the ETF will track. So, uh, for first question, Matthew, just sum up uh, as briefly as you can for us what the metaverse is and, and, and the types of companies that will be in this ETF. Sure. Well, first of all, thank you for having me today. The best way to understand the metaverse is to see it as a sort of quasi-successor state to the mobile internet at large in many of the same ways in which the mobile internet succeeded the fixed-line internet of the 90s and early 2000s. In this instance, rather than taking the internet from our PCs in our living room to our pockets and mobile phones, it is connecting it in a virtual regard. Virtual worlds, augmented reality, persistent spaces where most of our purchases, much of our time, is not about buying things for the real world through the internet, but buying the unreal or non-real things within these virtual spaces. For the most part, it's expected to transform everything from fitness to wellness, how we entertain, how we socialize, how we date, as far as sex work and so forth. And to that extent, it has become the newest obsession of all of the biggest tech companies in the world. We're showing something from one of your, your blogs, uh, if we can put it back up again, in terms of the type of uh, subsectors uh, that you will include, hardware, computing power, networking, right. uh, payments, uh, content services, etc. We mentioned some of the companies, Tencent, NVIDIA. I mean, it's not widely, wild, wildly different from just buying the QQQ, is it? You would think of it in some ways, but the question is, what's the vector of growth? Certainly, there are many companies within Triple Q that are still strongly represented here. But the question is, what elements of growth are going to drive and be over-indexed to this portfolio? There's a number of different companies that provide networking and computer and infrastructure. But the companies that are going to benefit, in particular, from the emergence of the metaverse are a far more curated group. At the present, it is less about the big fang companies insofar as it is the companies that are building the infrastructure of this next-gen internet. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.